Fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. And a happy Friday to you. We made it to the end of another work week here. And uh, this is becoming another problem here. The rain deficit is continuing to grow each day. Now we expanded this out to include, of course, last month of May. So when you add in the rain that we had last month and so far this month, we've only had 3.44 inches of rain at the Jamestown Airport. Now, of course, nobody lives at the airport, but that's, of course, where we gauge all this stuff. And uh, we should be at 6.33 inches for a rain total so far this season. So our deficit is 2.89 inches. So we definitely do need some rain here and we're going to have a chance for rain for at least the next couple of days, but it's going to be widely scattered nature. Future scan actually shows that to you. It's basically a rinse and repeat like we had over the past couple of days. The model flares up these scattered afternoon showers and storms again with the uh, with the uh, temperatures warming up along with the high amounts of humidity and a low pressure area settled way down to our south. That's actually going to flare these showers and storms. Now, please keep in mind the radar is not going to look like this, but again, but again, you know, these are going to be popular up through the afternoon and especially through this evening so just have your eyes on the sky your eyes on the radar and of course when thunder roars goes indoor uh, of course you know when thunder roars go indoors tomorrow a repeat we start dry but then scattered showers and storms will start to flare up again in the afternoon in random nature some of you will get a downpour some of you will get absolutely nothing that's the way these things work and uh, we just cannot tell you when or where it is going to rain but just but again you know just keep your eyes on the radar throughout the weekend and especially through early next week and of course when it rains it, of course when it rains it won't last long because it'll rain itself out so basically through the afternoon partly sunny on average scattered afternoon widely spaced showers and thunderstorms pop up across the entire region in random nature it's like playing whack-a-mole it's very frustrating to try to figure out where these storms are going to flare 77 at the immediate lake area waterfront 84 well inland with a south Southwest wind averaging 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, early showers and storms taper off, becomes partly cloudy, but it stays mild and a bit muggy, 60 to 66. The wind comes down less than 10 miles per hour. Now, as we head into the weekend, again, chance for scattered afternoon showers and storms each and every day. Temperatures lower to mid 80s. Actually, that summer thing should be over here, so move that over here. Summer, uh, summer officially begins tomorrow at uh, 543 uh, in the afternoon. And then early next week, scattered showers and storms continue on Monday. Better chance for more widespread rain will be on Tuesday with a low pressure area tracking close to the region and then we actually tune and, and, um, and then we actually tune down the heat and the humidity a little bit going into late next week.